just what they need. The football another time. And the kick's picked up at the 20, and there's Williams, and he spins hard. Little running back to bring down 31-yard line, and that's where the Redskins will start first and 10. 27 nothing. it was 15 nothing after the first quarter, then a very early touchdown in the third, and a very late touchdown at the uh, one about midway. And, or excuse me, with, yes, midway with 15 seconds left <laughs> in the first half. And 27 nothing. Their quarterback is Clint Feldkamp. They're going to bring it back. This, yeah. First flag we've had on uh, Clinton here tonight on the first play of the second half. A little, uh, I hope that's not an indicator. Oh, no, no. This, these games, Greg, we just commented uh, much, much too long. And well, the, the last two weeks, we've hit half hour half times. Yeah, that's. As and my, that really shouldn't happen. My brother would say, that just ain't right. <laughs> it's not really fair. <laughs> and really, John, uh, the players can really tighten up when they're oh, yeah. off the field for so doggone long. Oh. Feldkamp has them out first and 15 from the 26 now. Arnold in motion. And here's a runoff right tackle for just a couple yards. I believe that was Tom Reisman on the carry, and he was dragged down. That was Mike Goodman. And he picked up just a couple second down and 13. Second and about a dozen for Clinton. <clears throat> Win here tonight will make them 7-0, and all and... Even a loss in their last two games, John, pretty much assured yeah. of uh, hitting the postseason party. Here's Williams on a cutback, and he is hit hard. One of the better stops of the night. Jason Johnson made the stop defensively with some help from Mark Ruff, who's been all over the place defensively. But uh, Mark has not gotten an awful lot of help out there. Third and 11. And they run option to the short side of the field. Felkamp will be hit after a pickup of about three, and we may see a Clinton punt for the first time this evening. Two minutes in to the third quarter on KHM. You're uh, just joining us. Clinton has dominated. They came in here 6-0. and And like a machine in the first half, 27-0. Choquette uh, lined up to punt. We have flags. Flags. And somebody will be penalized here. Obviously. Before the snap on fourth down and about eight. Offside against Western. And they had to line up offside there because uh, I do not believe Clinton was near being set on the play. Fourth down now and two yards to go. Fourth and two. Now fourth and two. They wouldn't dare change their minds, would they, and go for a first down? The clock is moving. <clears throat> and they are lined up in a punt here with Choquette standing at the 25. Good snap. Kicks from the 30. Booms one. And over in. It looks like uh, Redmond. Tim Redmond at the 30. 35. 40. Oh, and drag down at the 43-yard line. And making that play defensively, Keith Shearhart. And the Panthers have the football first and 10, 43-yard line, trying to uh, dent, dent the scoreboard here. And at least get their uh, crowd into the game a little bit. They haven't had an off, awfully lot to cheer about yeah. here in this first half. <clears throat> Derek Weyerbaugh. Ebersaw bounces right. off the pack. 
He's up over the 50 and has a first down to the Clinton 46-yard line before Kevin Williams made the play in the secondary. Play designed to go left. Ebersol did a real nice job. The hole was plugged. He bounced to the outside or to the right now and had a nice little alley. Picked up a dozen and a first down at the Clinton 46-yard line. They send Redmond out to the left and out of the eye. Rough the fullback. A little new tailback in there. And here's the pitch. And a nice run. Scott Stark, Greg. Scott Stark. Scott Stark, the ball carrier. Sean Stark, not listed in the program. The official scorecard lineup tonight, is he? Possibly a secret weapon tonight uh, for the Panthers. Sean Stark, nice run, another first down. Down to the 35 yard line. Thank you, Professor. And here come the Panthers. Uh, drive underway, started at their own 43. They're down to the Clinton 35. On a couple consecutive first down runs. <clears throat> And running effectively, Ebersol is hit by Goody. Mike Goodman hit him low, and then mm, some gang tackling up top. Bob Achoa. that better, John? Yeah. Bob Achoa hit him high, and Mike Goodman down low. Didn't he play for Lansing Eastern last year? He must have. Second down and nine. Cowboy Achoa. All the scores tonight at 10.45 on, yes, the scoreboard program. Weyerbaugh fumbles the snap on second and nine, but he picked it up. And as is the case most of the time when you fumble the snap, snowed under. Mm -hmm. Although in one instance last week, a young man fumbled a snap and threw a 50-yard touchdown pass for Manchester, and it gave him a win oh, yeah. with about two yeah. minutes oh, left yeah. last week against Napoleon. Mm -hmm. Bitter pill for Don Baxter. And a shocking, well. shocking development. 35-yard line, third and 10. Redmond split wide to the right. Tight eye in the backfield. Long count by Weyerbaugh. Pitch pass. Ebersol throws it long. Redmond's out there 10 yards behind everybody, but the football is 10 yards beyond Redmond. Overthrown by the uh, halfback Trent Ebersol on the halfback throw. And he was out there, John, if he oh, could have uh, yeah. laid it up there a little bit and let him run under yeah. it. And that brings up a fourth down. Yeah, Ebersol, Greg, as soon as you got rid of the football, I, I could tell from up here, he was way out, very much overthrown, and uh, he was open good there. You've always had some keen eyesight, and I knew you'd pick, <laughs> out, pick out a throw like that, John, that, that missed the receiver by 15 yards. <laughs> fourth down and 10, and the Panthers want to keep this drive going. Keep it out of Clinton's hands here. Get in the end zone and get something accomplished. Weyerbaugh, the rush is on, and he is knocked down back at the 50-yard line. He lost 15. And Weyerbaugh just a little upset there with big uh, Keith Shearhart. They're exchanging homecoming greetings. <laughs> down at about, they'll spot it at the 48, but again, Greg, not only do you have to give Clinton a lot of uh, credit in terms of defensive pursuit out there, their, their secondary and the linebackers are really doing a nice job of covering the uh, intended receivers for Western because Weyerbaugh is going back in the pocket and being basically being snowed under, not only in terms of the offensive or the defensive line play from Clinton, but the fact that these uh, people in the secondary are covering the intended receivers, doing a real nice job, and it's just too difficult to pick somebody out when they're all covered. Here comes Clinton, it's Mike Goodman, and he's over the 50-yard uh, line. Down to the 47. And that's a pickup of about five and a second down and five for the Skins. 5.50 to go, third quarter, it's 27 nothing. Lumen Adrian tomorrow night at 7.30 from Withington Stadium. And of course, 
Before that, Michigan, Michigan State, all the action here. 235 pregame as they run it up the middle again. Yeah. For about three yards, they'll spot it at the 44. And that was Kevin Williams who had a spectacular first half for Clinton. Official timeout for what reason? I don't know, but they're calling the captains in. Maybe there's a little animosity out on the field. Some hard words out there, Greg, and I think it all emanated from the uh, sack that uh, Clinton put on Derek Wirebaugh. Derek, I don't, you know, I think uh, I, I happened to see the sack uh, develop, and I think one of the Clinton players gave Derek a little kind of a shove as he was getting off of uh, the Western quarterback, and Derek didn't take too kindly to it. The officials obviously trying to control tempers and uh, make things a bit more calm in terms of uh, attitude out there. Third and three, Feldkamp. Power eye formation, and here's the pitch to Williams. He cuts back. He has a first down. He's inside the 40 to the 38-yard line. Very hard runner and a great cutback runner. Kevin Williams. Trent Ebersol making the stop. And for Clinton, big uh, number 48 there, Jim Chap. He's replaced uh, Randy Kife to his injured earlier. And uh, Kaft, I've noticed uh, he has made several fine blocks. Mm -hmm. Well, this team from his uh, tight end spot here in the light, uh, left side. Mm -hmm. And it's a first down again for the Skins. And this time it is Jim Roberts who uh, weaves his way for a couple. Down to the 36 yard line. And the clock says just about four minutes to go. Scott McNick sends a play in with Mike Goodman. Greg who is a uh, fine two way performer. Second and six. 27-0, Clinton going after their seventh straight win. And here is Goodman, he was calling his own number and he carries it down to about the 31. Mark Oliver was there, 42, the senior, 200 pound linebacker, third and about three. Mm. And not a whole lot of excitement right now at the old ball yard as uh, Clinton just kind of grinding it out here yeah. and trying to uh, expand as, as slowly as possible on their 27-0 lead. And on third and three, I think they were very close very to close. a first down, just inside the 30-yard line. <clears throat> But tonight and tomorrow night, the last uh, nights of racing at the Harness Raceway, Greg? It's coming down to the home stretch. Old Ang Zine. Yeah. And then we'll be down there uh, tonight for the feature in the last race. And tomorrow night, and that's it. The uh, trotters and pacers trot their way over to uh, Northville Downs for a long fall and winter run. And we'll have all the results uh, also tonight on KHM. Here's Goodman for a couple. That was a first down, by the way. And on first down, they run for another two. And that clock continues to run. No, I think I've gone long enough. Give me the old jacket. I'll put that on. Yeah, the temperature dropping rapidly here. What they call that radiational cooling. 2.30 to go, third quarter. As Russ Southwell makes sure everybody is in hot coffee up here tonight. Good job, Russ. Thank you. <laughs> Second, seven. Feldkamp fumbles the ball. That's about the first mistake they've made all night. Yeah. He fell on it, but lost three, four, maybe five yards, about three or so. Back to the near the 30. And Clinton looks at a third. And 11 yards for a first down, and they'll go for it here. Yeah, I think so. Coach McNitt says, let's go for it. Their lone running back is uh, Mike Goodman. 
double wing set. They go in motion. There's the uh, play action fake. Feldkamp all the way back to the 50 yard line. Gets a block. Now wow. he has some room. They don't, do they throw a flag? They wanted a clip down there. They did not get a first down. Official did not throw a flag. Looked like 84 for uh, Western. Scott Kimberly. He's limping a little bit. Really got uh, cold cocked. There was two of them there. Yeah. They spot the football at the 25. Big John, Big John Chelman, Greg, hit him. 6'2", 265. And uh, I guess a fourth down coming up. The, the down box, a little problem over there. Oh. Or are we running two fourth down plays, or is this a University of Colorado game? <laughs> Fourth down again for Clinton, fourth and seven. And they pitch it back to Williams. He won't Gets get it. Gets it outside, oh, breaks really? the tackle. Look at this, it's run. First down, Western. Oh. Missed him in the backfield. Wow. Twice. And uh, boy, Williams put on a nice show here tonight. He is an outstanding yes. running back. And he just was not to be denied yeah, at fourth and seven. He, just, he gained nine. I'm telling you, Greg, he just uh, has a nose for the football and knows where he, he wants to go in that football field. Just uh, not the sharpest and crispest, crispest, crisp tackling we've seen here in the past. Uh, Western look, uh, looking awfully disheveled out there right now, attitude-wise. 33 seconds and counting here in the third quarter. This has gone by rather quickly. Here's Williams again. This time, gang tackling by Western on that right side, and they throw him down after little or no gain, and that's the end of the third quarter. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Clinton 27, Western nothing, and we're back in one minute on WKHM. Cheer on your favorite pro football team while you watch all the Monday Night Football excitement in action on a fifth and on a second and seven, and... Handed off to Jacob Arnold, and he's tagged pretty good after a very short gain down to about the, well, just inside the 15-yard line, they'll spot the football. One thing that's been very good about this Clinton drive, they've kept it right between the tackles and the clock, continues to roll, roll, roll. Mm -hmm. Keep it rolling. 11 and a half to go. And Clinton threatening again just inside the 15. Greg will have all the scores tonight on the Jackson Citizen Patriot, WKHM scoreboard down on the track. Jackson playing East Lansing, Northwest at Columbia. Of course, this game, uh, Manchester at Vandy. There's a fumble by Clinton, and did they get that back? Like they might have got it back. Williams just fumbled it. He was not really hit. He was uh, trying to cut back. Western had some good cover. They dropped the football, and it was uh, Schmidt that picked it up. Dave Schmidt, their offensive center, and a fourth down now and ten for the Skins. And they're going to kick a field goal here with Tori Choquette. And now they'll never get it off. Feldkamp throws to Choquette, and he's dragged down. Nice play by Mark Oliver. The uh, linebacker, and that will turn it over, and Western has the football. And I don't know if they were going to actually kick a field goal or not. The snap was bobbled, but it did look like maybe a fake anyway. As uh, the holder through to the intended kicker. Yeah, Greg, I think they were intending to, to kick the field goal. Again, you know, the, the game really at this point of, you know, is basically 27 nothing. Clinton, and it's... It's well, not basically. It is 27 is nothing. nothing. It's basically Clinton's ball game right now, and so I think in terms of uh, game conditions and trying onside kicks and field goals, I think that was intended play. Thank you. Wireball pitches back. Ebersol on a cut a couple yards. Not much more than that. Excellent pursuit. As it has been all night by the Clinton defense, Keith Shearhart made the stop. <sighs> Ten minutes even. Next Friday night, uh, Jackson High, the Big Red. 
of Lansing Sexton and Saturday. The Illuminance Flint Southwestern. Oh, thank you. Old schedule maker. <laughs> Flint Southwestern, Lumen Christie next Saturday night. Then we hit the last week. Wire ball over the middle, caught by Oliver. First down. And he fights his way for a couple extra yards up to the 37. Mark Oliver. 200 pound senior. Made that uh, good play on defense on the fake field goal. And Western, who had a uh, little bobolitis in that first half. They dropped some passes that should have been caught. Well, they caught this one and a first down. And here on homecoming, moral victory now to get on the scoreboard. You don't want to be skunked here tonight. But a 28-point rally does not look like it's in the cards. Here's a... Nice flare pass out to Ebersol. He has a first down, 50, 45, 42 yard line. And a flag, and I believe we'll have a face mask call coming up against the Skins. And I believe it might have been Choquette. Choquette, uh, Tori Choquette, who's been, as they say, a very active linebacker here for the Clinton Redskins. At all. And sometimes overactive. So at the nine-minute mark, uh, Western will have the ball near the 25 somewhere. And uh, about their best operating position this evening. Yeah. <clears throat> and the temperature dropping like a rock here. Yeah, it tonight. is getting cold, isn't it? A cool night in First Parma. <laughs> and they take it down to the 27-yard line first down. And Wireball brings him out first down, I formation. The up back is Dave Williams. Stark is the tailback. And he has the football. He's trying to get outside, and, and he will not get there. No, great. Can't turn the corner. Good pursuit by the Redskins. Oh, great. That was a great defensive pursuit by Clinton, and now I know why they're pitching a shutout here this evening with 8.30 remaining in the, in the ball game, 27-0. They really can move very, very well laterally as well as uh, north and south. Uh, very aggressive football team, and uh, they certainly know how to play the game. Thank you, John. Good analysis. Second down and 11. <laughs> and here come the Panthers with uh, Ebersaw back in at the tail. And they would dearly love to get in the end zone here, if at all possible. Wire ball rolls left and fires it. Caught by Greenman. Inside the 20, 17-yard line. That should be a first down. Jim Roberts on the coverage. Excellent throw by Wirebaugh, and he threaded the needle. Mm. Well, Greg, he's got a good arm. And Greenman, who by far and away leads uh, all area receivers in total receptions, has had, uh, I believe, three here tonight. Yeah. So he's uh, at 32 on the season. Yeah. And the junior uh, doing a nice job. He's uh, split out this time to the left. On first down for the Panthers. Trying to get on the scoreboard here in the fourth quarter. Hand off to Williams. Touchdown. Dave Williams goes the final 17 yards. He's a junior. Nice little delay play and a huge hole. And Williams found it and popped through there and showed uh, excellent quickness as he went about 17. And Western's on the board here with 745 left in the game. It's 27-6. Well, let's see what Western does here. I would say they would likely go for two here. And Wirebaugh brings them out. And now they're going to have to take a timeout because they just wasted a little too much time. So we'll take a break, and we're back in one minute on Jackson Sports Voice, WKHM. Williams in the backfield with Ebersol. 
And Weyerbaugh throws over the middle, knocked away. Nice defensive play out there in the secondary by Dave Housewright, who knocked it right out of Oliver's hand. And we stay at 27-6 with 7.45. John enjoying a, a wonderful donut out of the Russ Southwell oven. It, it was nice of Russ to bake those tonight before he came out here. Well, Russ is doing a tremendous job as the new athletic director here at Western. I hope he bakes those during the basketball season. 7.45, and John, I won't ask you anything right now because you're, you're immersed in one of those uh, wonderful pastries. Thank you, Russ. Good job. Russ, thank you. Would you like heat? No, we don't need heat. Western will kick off, and they're down 27-6, to 6, but leading the second half. John, 6-0. Six, six <laughs> hey, you got, have to look at the positive aspect of this. And, hey, they came out, and uh, they played reasonably well here in the second half, but, of course, uh, down 27. Well, they have, Greg. Uh, large mountain to climb. And they're... You know, not not very far up, but they have hit the brink of the mountain, and they're they're starting their ascension here. We're scrambling, folks. <laughs> Here's the Western kickoff, and it dies at the 30-yard line, and they fall on it. I gotta say, that looked like one of your approach shots. <laughs> yeah, that looked like my two iron. Oh God, no. I would call that the uh, quintessential pooch kick on a kickoff, and it just kind of died there at the 30, and uh, Clinton smothered it, and they'll have a first down. Good back then. Feldkamp still in there at uh, QB. And here's Goodman off left tackle, and he has, oh, about five yards. He's up to the 35-yard line, and I don't really anticipate Scott McNitt. No. You know, going to his bag of tricks here in the last seven okay. minutes. He wants to get out of here. Uh, don't get anybody hurt. Get on the bus and uh, celebrate tonight. Yeah. In southern Lenawee County. Celebrate on uh, Columbus Day. It's Columbus Day today. What a wonderful day it is. Mm -hmm. Here come the skins on uh, second down and five. And that looks like Williams. And he fumbles the ball, and Western has it back. At the 47. I believe that was Williams again. Percy. Percy Comstock. First down, Western. And the Panthers get it back. With a, really, uh, if they... They can score here, a chance to at least, you know, make the score look respectable here. They were uh, just blown right off the field in the first half, but have uh, come back. They have not quit, and that's the key. Yeah, that's right. Wireball fires. Kara! Hitch! Down at the 26-yard line. That grab by uh, Jeff Modlin, 35. And a nice grab it was. Yeah, Again, man. another uh, good throw by Wirebaugh. Wirebaugh threw the ball quite well. and uh, He could have some uh, impressive totals tonight, John. He had some balls that very much so should have been caught, been held on to. Yeah. But uh, even the pros, specifically the line receiver, don't catch them all. First down from the 26. In motion, Greenman. And Weyerbaugh pitches back. Start. Slashes for oh, a couple. He'll spot it very close to the 25-yard line. The clock moving. 5.40 to go in the game. And the Panthers on a second down and nine. with uh, Steve Rice out over the football. Back to throw is wire ball. The rush is on. Throws and oh! Big hit. Big hit. On Ebersol. I think that was Williams that came up and really stuck him, and it was Kevin, Kevin Williams. Williams. Yeah. 
and that had to sting just a bit. Mm -hmm. We had a pretty good shot on him out there in the flat. We have a Clinton player down, and he is hurting <laughs> at about the 37-yard line. <laughs> Pass was caught by Western, but they only only picked up about a yard, and uh, great hit by Kevin Williams, who has been the outstanding performer on the football field tonight. The injured player for Clinton was uh, Jim Chap, who did not start the game, but has played very well. Came in uh, and played tight end when their starter, Randy Kite, was shaken up early, and now he limps off. Third down and eight. Under five minutes to go in the game. 27-6, Clinton. Weyerbach checking off at the line of scrimmage. Throws one down, intercepts it. Picked off by the safety. And that's uh, Jacob Arnold. And he's back over the 20 to about the 25 yard line, chased out of bounds. Nice play by the free safety, though. He read that all the way. You know, I don't think Weyerbach ever saw him. He thought he had a wide open yeah. receiver down there. And uh, Jacob Arnold, or was it Arnold Jacob? <laughs> he stepped right in there, picked it up. Yeah, real good play defensively, Greg. And I think uh, Derek Weyerbach, the Western quarterback, really zeroed in on his intended receiver and had all eyes for that man and simply didn't see the uh, free safety back there who picked up the football. And again, Clinton has the football with uh, 440 and counting here in the uh, ball game, and then the Redskins well in hand, 27-6. to six. And I don't think uh, Scott McNett's very happy at all with the way his team has played here in the second no, half. They've kind of shoveled the ball a couple times and uh, not extremely emotional. And of course, they had built up a very large lead in the, at, at halftime, 27 nothing, and they run the ball for a couple yards here on uh, first down. Jim Carlisle coming up for you after the game. Keep it right where you're at. And we'll have some racing action a little later. All the scores, of course, on uh, KHM. And Jim, feel free to cut in on us if you have an update from the uh, Cincinnati-Pittsburgh game. Here's Williams again on a second down carry. He's very close to a first down out at the 37-yard line. And he is still running awfully hard. And uh, again, uh, John, it's a case, uh, why did they have the starters in there? Well, they, they don't have a lot of players over there. No, they really don't. And I, I agree with you, Greg. This game is over for all intents and purposes. You want to possibly give some of these kids a break. I'm sure they've seen quite a bit of majority of the action uh, in the previous uh, six games. And, uh, but I don't think uh, McNitt is happy at all, really, with what no. he's seen here in the second half. No, I think uh, they played a bit shoddily here in the second half. Here's the first down. And rumbling out over the 50-yard line, that looked like Arnold. It was Jim Roberts, actually, the uh, fine little sophomore running back, and his best run of the night. And he picked up about 13 and a first down, spotted right at midfield to make it easy for us. Three and a half to go. Stay with us on for all american Sports with the wrap-up tonight. And there looked like a new number in the backfield, greeted at the 50-yard line. And we're trying to find that ball carrier. And we'll, we'll find him shortly. Second down and 10 coming up for Clinton, and they're trying to run the clock out. And I don't think the, uh, the large homecoming crowd would really object at this point. As, boy, you can see your breath now out here. Temperature has dropped many degrees here. Number 34 on the carry. Brad Ahern's 
Aaron's, excuse me, Brad Aaron's, and he picked up about nine, make it eight, and a third and two for Clinton. 2.20 to go. Uh, we're watching that clock closely here. Sportsman's Club and All-American Sports with you tonight. And we'll be back tomorrow night for Adrian Lumen Christie. Looks like a first down Clinton on a third and two. It will be, and they'll keep the ball. And <clears throat> I don't see Western spending a lot of timeouts here to, to stop the clock. 27-6. 27-0 at the... They're not going to... I thought for a moment there I was going to be shocked as they called the chain gang in. Finally, they... No need for those guys. No, they... Wave those guys 10 yards down the field. And a first down. Aaron's again. And he sit right at the line. 150 to go. Clinton jumped into that early lead, 15-0. Early in the first quarter and led 27-0 at halftime. And it's been a rather lackluster second half. Although Western able to get on the board here late in the game. But not a, not a lot of fireworks out here in the second half tonight. All the fireworks were provided right off the bat in the first half by the Redskins, who will go to 7-0 and in the season. Uh, very likely to maintain their top uh, rating, John, in that Region 4. It, although it was pretty close amongst the uh, amongst the teams uh, battling it out there. And, of course, playoff positioning, uh, all important, as you know. You want to get that home game, if, it, if at all possible. Forty-five seconds left. Clinton back out on a third and eight. And they run an option. They have a new quarterback in, and they never, well, they got the pitch away, but it went out of bounds. So a fourth down coming up, their new quarterback, Matt Blaisdell. And they stopped the clock with 32. And a fourth down coming up. Looks like Clinton's going to punt the football. A little punt practice, I guess, here, yeah. which you can't really argue with. And <clears throat> Western might have a play or two uh, before this one ends. In that category, Jen. Yeah, Greg, we have in Class C Region 4, in which Clinton is the number one team there in terms of playoff points. Clinton, Deckerville, Morency, and Jonesville is number four. Manchester's number five. And, of course, uh, Clinton, you know, beating the Class B team yeah. uh, tonight will get a, a 64, few, 64 points, a few extras, plus the victories that their opponents that they had defeated, uh, if they should win tonight, they'll get some additional playoff points there. So they'll be in excellent shape because they have a 10-point lead over number two Deckerville. And very likely, I, I expect to see that, that team uh, in at least a home position. Yeah. Yeah, no uh, doubt about that. When this season ends. <clears throat> Pretty uh, good looking Clinton ball club. Western comes out here with the clock moving, 15 seconds. And Wireball is going to air it out for a next to last time, and he misses Greenman. Incomplete, six seconds left. Time for uh, one more play, and this one will be history. Quick wrap tonight for All American Sports. Uh, WKHM, all the scores tonight at uh, about 10.45 on the scoreboard program. From the uh, desk of Dennis Tanner, we have a 15-yard walk-off here against Clinton. They may have roughed the passer on a personal foul. It was roughing the passer. And Wireball gets one more throw. And not a real delightful homecoming night for the crowd here. They just have not had much to cheer about. Western moved the ball early in a couple drives, but uh, never really threatened the scoreboard until this fourth quarter. Wire ball on a roll. The game is over. Throws it long, long, long. 
and knocked away at the last second by Clinton. Nice play out there by Percy Comstock as he knocked it away. And this one's over. And uh, Clinton racked up 27 points in the first half and rather coasted through the second half. 27-6, our final. We take a one-minute break. We're back for All-American Sports. Stay with us.